Hey Kendrick Crew, today I'm I'm on book book flicks. I'm I'm checking out this book called a a shark pup grows up. Shark pups. What is a shark pup? A shark pup is a baby shark. Sharks are fish. Fish live in water. They have fins and gills. The gill slits are openings to the gills. Ooh. Do you know how a shark pup is born? Some sharks hatch from eggs. Yeah. Hard cases cover the eggs. Some egg cases look like pouches or bags. Some egg cases look like screws. Yes. Some animals hatch from eggs. But us humans don't come from eggs. We grow inside our moms. We come from a... Us humans come from inside our moms. A shark embryo grows inside each egg case. How does the pup hatch? The pup uses its sharp teeth to break open the egg case. Most shark pups do not hatch from eggs. They grow inside their mother. A shark pup can swim when it is born. If, if animals didn't have toothbrushes, how else would they keep their teeth clean? I mean, in the age of the dinosaurs, they way back when there were or no t there were no t teeth toothbrushes. So instead, pteranodon pterosaurs use their beaks to pick off the yuckiness of the off the T Rexes off the carnivores teeth. They're also used to Watch out pups. Bigger sharks might eat you. Pups swim fast to get away. Their tails push them through the water. Those pterosaurs can also be used to uh, get rid of the her massive herbivores' itchiness. Do you know what hungry pups eat? Pups eat crabs and fish. They eat clams and squid, too. Yep. There are many kinds of shark pups. They grow up to be adult sharks. Then they can have pups of their own. Yep, that it's true. Now let's see what this story is gonna be. Ooh, the great white shark. Let's see this. Western Woods Studios. Hmm. The Great White Man Eating Shark. A cautionary tale. Uh oh. I wonder what the caution means. There was once a boy called Norvin. Ooh. He was a good actor, but rather plain. Ooh. In fact, he looked very like a shark. He had small, sharkish eyes, a pointed, sharkish head, and sharp, sharkish teeth. <laughs> okay, that scared me. Unfortunately, there are not many plays written with good parts for sharks. So Norvin took up swimming instead. He soon became a good swimmer and learned to shoot through the water like a silver arrow. That's not me. That's Norvin. Norvin lived near a wonderful beach called Caramel Cove, but he had to share it with lots of other swimmers. When Norvin tried shooting through the water like a silver arrow... Those of you who see... Those of you who, who haven't seen this but are watching this, 
but are watching this video oh right now don't embarrass me the other swimmers got in his way this made him cross and resentful what's the use of being able to shoot through the water like a silver arrow if everyone gets in my way he thought so he came up with a wicked plan. What is he doing? Out of plastic, he made himself the dorsal fin of a great white man eating shark. That ain't going to fool anyone. I know it. Then he strolled around the headland thought a few sharkish thoughts, strapped it on, and slid into the clear blue water. Mrs. Scorpio, who ran the bakery, was bobbing harmlessly up and down in the waves when suddenly she saw the dorsal fin of a great white man-eating shark heading straight for her. If you are swimming and see a great white man-eating shark heading straight for you, the thing to do is to leave the water in a quiet and dignified way. But Mrs. Scorpio did not know this. Oh no! Shark! Shark! She shark! Herself onto the shark! Caramel Cove, people grabbed up their children, their dogs, and inflatable canoes. Within moments, the sand was crowded with dripping bodies, and the sea was completely empty. Everyone stared despairingly at the cruising dorsal fins. Norvin wore the expression a great white man-eating shark always wears when it is hungry. Uh -huh. and his acting was so good but even when he came up to breathe, people were convinced he was actually looking for prey. It was a very hot day, but nobody dared go swimming again. Norvin had the whole of Caramel Cove to himself. He spent all afternoon shooting backwards and forwards like a silver arrow. Everyone else watched enviously sighing and rubbing suntan lotion onto one another no one dared to share the sea with a great white man-eating shark at last norvin swam out around the headland and vanished from sight after that everyone except norvin was too scared to go swimming at caramel cove norvin come out at once his friends all cried there is a great white man-eating shark hanging around these parts. Norvin laughed. <laughs> Nonsense, he said. It is probably only a whale shark, or even a basking shark. And they are vegetarians, you know. Norvin had the entire beach to himself for three whole days. However, soon a few brave people tired of seeing Norvin shooting to and fro like a silver arrow, started swimming again. Others joined them, and soon everyone was splashing around happily once more, enjoying the swimming and the summer. But Norvin had grown used to having the beach to himself. Yeah. He strolled around the headland, put on his dorsal fin, and swam back into Caramel Cove. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. He's doing that, all of that, to um have a beach to himself. That's not. That's not fair. Mr. Dorsey, the plumber, was showing his little boy Courtney how to stand on his head in the water. Something a plumber sometimes has to do. Suddenly. He found himself nose to nose with Norvin. 
He did not recognize Norvin, of course. He thought he was nose to nose with a great white man-eating shark. If you find yourself nose to nose with a shark, the thing to do is to leave the water quietly, just as if your only thought was to rub in more suntan lotion. Mr. Dorsey did not know this. Shark! Shark! Here! Grabbing up Courtney, he flung himself onto the sand, kicking and screaming in terror. Within minutes, Norvin had the beach all to himself once more. No one dared go swimming for a week at Caramel Cove. No one except Norvin, that is. He shot to and fro like a silver arrow, while others watched longingly from the beach. Soon, they could stand it no longer. A few brave people decided to take a risk, and Caramel Cove was once more splashing and bubbling with happy swimmers. Norvin, however, was becoming greedy. Uh-oh. He wanted Caramel Cove all to himself, all the time. So he strolled around the headland and put on his dorsal fin once more. Then he swam back to Caramel Cove, laughing to himself as he thought of all the terror he would cause. But suddenly, he felt he was not alone. Uh -oh. Someone was swimming beside him. Who could it be? There, nuzzling up to him, was a great white man-eating shark. <gasps> A female. Oh. She gave him a very loving glance. You are the shark of my dreams, she said. Marry me at once, or I shall lose my temper and bite you. <laughs> he shot like a silver arrow, dorsal fin and all, toward the beach and flung himself on the sand, where he lay kicking and screaming with terror. Just what Norvin had been up to. The people of Caramel Cove put up a shark net across the mouth of the bay. But for the rest of the summer, Norvin sat on the beach, watching other swimmers shoot backwards and forwards like silver arrows. He had had such a terrible shock that shark net or not, he was too frightened to go swimming for a long, long time. Though he was a plain boy, he had made rather a good-looking shark. And I think he was very wise not to take any dangerous chances. Uh-oh. Or should I say, ruh -oh. Like, what's... Like what Scooby Doo would say. <laughs> if you guys want to join the Kendra crew, be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like if you had fun watching. And follow me on Roblox if you want to play with me sometime. And don't forget to leave a comment in my Roblox group to tell me what are the games I should play on you know, Roblox, PBS Kids, or other dra or other gotcha club videos I should make like you can also check me out on the Corbin and Kendrick channel by clicking the link in the description box below we'll catch you later bye